Um, the iniquity of the fathers can carry over into four generations, three or four generations. The, the law of that scripture is broken off of you as a believer. According to scripture, all of your iniquities have been forgiven. So, so the mindset of a new generation starting with you is important. As a believer, we have been delivered, we have been set free. All of these benefits, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Yet there are people who still choose to embrace the curse. It is, so, so the ruler of darkness now has a place in your life, not because he has dominance over you, you gave it to him through operating under his jurisdiction that you've been set free from. Anger, resentment, unforgiveness, all those things still give way to what you've been set free from. So there are generations of, of things that carry over for the good into your life as well. And I am to fully embrace the new covenant. So I'm not a product anymore of what my father did. I'm not a product anymore of the sins of my grandfather, of the sins of his father. No, they do carry over into four generations. But the day that I gave my life to Jesus Christ, that was broken. And a new generation, a new beginning, a new start happened with me because I refused to carry something that I'm not supposed to, that was never intended for me anymore through my acceptance of Jesus Christ. So no, the sins of the fathers do not spill over into my life. And I refuse to give leadway. I refuse to give an open door to it when it no longer has a place with me. I did have good generations of inherited good, <laughs> of inherited favor, of inherited anointing. I am my father's child. I am my mother's child. There's no way that I could confess or make that proclamation if I was still carrying unforgiveness or resentment towards any of them.